what's up guys we're in the shop today um i just finished wiring up my battery and doing the relocation on that that's um the battery's in the trunk now so uh, i'll show you guys here in a second but right now i'm just getting this uh engine stand all together and ready to go and i'm gonna start cleaning the motor and um next week we should have it have the bottom end fully assembled and then all we need is a head gasket and that should be about it so here's where i'm at right now you can see how shiny how beautiful so just got to finish tightening up this bolt real quick All right, guys, hard to do this with just one hand. There we go. Now I just gotta get this last one right here. Should looks like a 14. Let's see, I think, or it might be 12. Nope, 14, I was right. Let's come over here, 14. Oh, wrong way. Let me just tighten it down real quick. All right. Now I'm just going to get it put on the uh, stand. So now we're ready to put the uh, block on the stand. Let's see how I'm going to pick it up. Alright. Block is on the stand. I'm going to put my bolt through. Get it secure so it ain't going nowhere. And this is her. She has a block guard in. So it'll be safe making some uh, big horsepower numbers eventually. So, yeah guys, I'm really excited about this. Even though the car's been down for about like five months... Um, I really miss driving that car, but we'll get there. Every little step is one step closer. So, yeah, I'm going to quickly show you guys the um, battery and the cables that I did. So, we'll just walk to the car now, and I'll show you guys a glimpse of what's going on. Can't show you too much, though. Alright boys, this is it right here, got my cables, positive and ground, got this nice billet NPC Motorsports uh, guy right here. I messed up uh, drilling the drilling holes because I have rib nuts or uh, what you call them, they're like, uh, it's a thing with threads. And it goes right here and it's basically it makes threads so you can thread like uh, this bolt or any other bolt but that's what I have in here but the only problem is that um, I messed up my measuring so uh, that's something I got to redo later on but yeah boys uh, this is it I can't show you too much in the front just because, you know, got to keep you guys a bit surprised. And, um, yeah.
All right, guys, we got our piston rings installed on each of the pistons. So now these are ready to get into the block. Um, I do have to plastic gauge first with the crank and the rods, and then we can throw it all together. But after that, uh, we should have a fully built bottom end. All right guys, so we are ready to put our pistons and uh, start getting this thing assembled. So first I'm gonna clean these uh, cylinder walls with some uh, brake cleaner and some uh, lint free towel or the uh, shop rag thing. And then I'm gonna oil up the sides, oil up the sides of the piston and oil up the sides of the cylinder walls and then i'm gonna use this uh wiseco piston ring ring installer thing and just smack them in there all right guys so here's the block the pistons are in um i am using max being rod rods so you can kind of see that they sit a little lower than um the hit the top of the deck or then the piston would be like all the way up here like flat flush with the um with the deck but the max speeding rods they are a little bit shorter which i should have done some more research on what rods um are different but it'll be fine we're gonna use them so uh there's the uh, oil pump it's um ACL performance oil pump so that we should get some um, higher oil pressure stuff with that also got the rear main on looking nice and then there's all the the magic and then the pickup I have to get my um, uh, I have to get my oil pan I got to get a bung welded to that so I might wait to put the pan on until I get that bung welded and all that other stuff sorted. And I also have to do the same thing to the valve cover. But I think today we're going to just um, get this head gasket on and maybe set, maybe put it in time with the timing. Don't know yet, but um, depends on what we have time for today. What are you doing? Alright guys, I got all the studs on with um, the ARP lube it asks for, and we're going to torque it down to 25 foot-pounds, then we're going to torque it to 40, and then finally 65 foot-pounds, and it's going to go like that.
think need to lose it a little bit. Let, let, let me, because there's no room. Let me unbolt this. No. Yeah. A little more. 